Just bounce to this. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to another tutorial here on Glass Hand. Today is part 11 and we're going to have some fun with uh, smart materials and we're going to use smart masks and it's just going to be awesome. So I think you guys will agree. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'm going to show you some really cool stuff with uh, things that are already here in Substance Painter. So I've showed you a lot of kind of different things uh, between you know, setting up your own uh, materials and, you know, kind of do it in a more manual way. But let's look at some of the stuff that's here um, for us. And I'm going to select this plastic soft um, smart material right here, plastic soft dirty. And I'm just going to drag this into the cheek, just like so, and put it above our base. And then I'm also going to try and select something else, something like... Uh, this steel dark aged right here and I'm just gonna drop this again onto the cheek and you can see probably what's going on um, here in the viewport so I'm gonna drag it above the plastic soft dirty okay so together um, once this renders once we can actually see it in our viewport we're gonna see the dark aged uh, steel on top of the the plastic dirty and that's pretty cool what we can do is add a black mask to this okay so now we're completely taking away this, the dark age steel leaving the uh, plastic soft dirty and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn this layer off just so that's not gonna confuse you um, so let's just go over to our smart masks and we're gonna choose something uh, let's see there are so many really cool masks in here, and I encourage everyone to just jump in and start playing around with this um, after you, of course, check out the, the tut. So let's go ahead and let's add something like, I think there was a paint. Yeah, paint old. Let's go ahead and drag this onto our black mask. Immediately we get this mask editor. Okay, and you can see it put to work. Uh, there's a little bit that's showing through, and it's it's kind of hard to see what's going on uh, but no worries you can hold alt and click on the mask and you'll go into the mask view okay so this is something that I don't think I've shown in the past um, but this is gonna allow us to see white is gonna allow the um, the dark age steel to show up and black is going to be our plastic soft dirty so let's just click on the mask editor and uh, this is really cool so let's uh, this texture here, we can add um, any texture down here on the image inputs. Okay, so right now they have uh, uh, whoever so kindly set up the paint old for us in the masks. They have this one grunge paint scratch texture, and then texture two is uh, grunge rust fine. So that's what these parameters are texture one and two, and we can uh, tweak these to our heart's content. So let's just kind of bump this up maybe a little bit. And you can see this area coming into play. It's getting a lot brighter. If we need to, we can come in here and adjust the scale. So uh, I'm going to do so. I'm going to make it smaller. Uh, after playing around with this, I kind of like... Somewhere, I, I believe this is probably where it was set, so that's fine. Uh, let's leave it there after uh, not getting exactly what I want after tweaking, but it's okay. Um... Let's adjust some more of these settings. Ooh, do not want it that bright. Uh, this doesn't look super bad. Okay, so maybe just a little bit here. Uh, Triplanar is on so that we get minimal uh, tiling. Uh, let's see, what else would we like to do? Ambient occlusion. Yeah, let's let's use that, and let's open our ambient occlusion. And uh, we have all these different blending modes. So right now it's set to multiply. Uh, if we set it to add, we are going to get 100% of this being added on top of it, you know, 0.62. Um, we can kind of knock this back. And then we can adjust the balance on this. Okay, so it looks like we need to go this direction. Don't need so much of it. Just want to add a little bit to it. And uh, let's see, I think 
Let's scale it back just a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. And let's go to our curvature. And this is really cool. We can set it to edges, but I'm going to set it to cavities. And uh, you can see it, how it shows up in this strong white. So let's uh, go in and let's see. We want to bring this, let's see what fine, bringing this down. Okay, that's uh, what I wanted. So let's keep bringing it down. And let's maybe make it a little bit softer. Oop, not that soft. It takes a little bit for it to kind of load up. It's not like super quick, like going back and forth, but I can forgive it because it's doing some pretty cool stuff um, with this. And I hope you can see how powerful this can be with all of these smart materials. And of course, like we said before, you can right click and save the folders as smart materials. So you can just build your own library and keep coming back and um, getting away some really cool masking um, here in Substance. So let's go ahead and just hit M on our keyboard to see what we have got. And this is looking pretty cool. Uh, you can see the edges are kind of showing back the, uh, the dark age steel. And we can come in here and just uh, make tweaks here. So let's um, let's see what we can do in the color. Let's let's change the uh, under the advanced parameters. Let's change the metal color to a little brighter, so that we can get some more reflections. You can see the bar. Getting ready to load that up for us. Okay. So now it's reflecting a lot more. And you can see we barely have a little bit of the uh, of the plastic showing through. Okay, so let's keep going back. Um, apologies. We're just going to want to kind of bring this up a little bit more. This global balance. It looks like going the other way. So the global balance is really nice. Overall, we can just kind of scale this effect back. And I think that looks pretty cool. So you can see how quickly that was for me to generate this kind of procedural, worn, scratched uh, look. Uh, the next thing I want to do is actually paint uh, a height map in here. So let's see, we have the cheek. We want to add a paint layer in here. Uh, wrong button, just need to add a paint layer put it into the cheek and let's bring it to the top and let's call this uh, painted height and we will come into the layer stack and let's just let's just come in here and we can paint with the height so um, let's go a little negative so I'm going to make sure that symmetry is turned on and we're mirroring over the X just like so. And then I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to click once and then hold shift after I click and I can draw a straight line. Then I need to draw eight of these lines. So let's see if we're mirroring. Yep. Mirroring pretty well. So let's keep going. Hold shift. Click one more time. So that's three, four, five, six, and uh, let's just do seven. Seven will be fine. So um, that's a way to add some height detail and to actually uh, mirror it to the other side. And if we need to make changes on the uh, height, uh, you can see here that I've added a levels and then we can just begin tweaking that height however we want. And then uh, to turn symmetry off we can just click that button there and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so in the next uh, tutorial, we'll actually go through, we'll add some detail here on the earpiece. Uh, we'll fix some of these little masks and just add some, um, some more things to just make this look a little bit better. 
uh, than what we have right now. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I really appreciate the support. It looks like this series is going pretty well, and uh, I have you to thank for that. So uh, if you would like to download this scene on Gumroad, uh, we'll put that up ASAP. Uh, but thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Take care.